Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain how to use pivot operator in Microsoft SQL Server. This video is all about creating pivot tables in SQL Server. What is pivoting? Pivoting is a technique that groups and aggregates data, transitioning it from rows to columns. If you want to pivot a table, you will need to identify three elements. They are grouping element, spreading element and data or aggregation element. Let's see what these three elements mean. Grouping element. Grouping element is what you want to see on the rows. Spreading element. This element means what you want to see on the columns. Data or aggregation element. This element implies what you want to see in the intersection of rows and columns. Let's look at an example to understand how pivot works. The standard way to group data in SQL query is to use group by clause. In the query here, I want to get average right value for each shipper ID. So I am using the group by clause here. When you run this query, you get average value for each of the shipper ID. What if you don't want these shipper IDs to be in rows, instead you want them to be in the columns. Here comes the pivot operator. Let's see how we can get shipper ID into columns. The first step in using the pivot operator is to select the base data. In our example, we need the average of right values for each shipper ID. So we need right and shipper ID columns in the base table. So this is our base table. In, the, in order for the pivot pivot operator to work we have to create some kind of table valued expression that we can apply the pivot operation to. For this purpose we can use derived tables, common table expressions or we can even use the temporary tables. In this video I am going to use common table expressions. Let me create a common table expression here and give some name to it. I am giving average as the name. And I am selecting all the columns from the CT I, CTE I have created. Let's, let's execute this and see. Now as we have prepared our base data, we can go ahead and apply pivot operator. In the next line, I am going to write pivot and open a set of parentheses and close it and give a name to it. I'm giving a name as pivot results and in the parentheses here we have to give certain expression the first expression we specify is quite easy we need to specify what aggregate function you are using and also on what field so we are using average aggregate function on right field in the next line, we need to specify on which column we need to apply the pivot operator. So, and you use the for class for it. So, we are, we want to find average of right for each shipper ID. And next, you specify the list of all the columns that you want to be displayed as column headings. And those would be the rows that are in shipper id column here and you use in operator for that 1 2 and 3 are the values which you want to see as column headings this is how we pivot the table and when you execute this you have 1 2 and 3 as column headings and these are the values, average values for these shipper IDs, for the individual shipper IDs. This is the basic example of how we write the, how we pivot the table. If we combine the power of pivot operator to create column groups with standard row groups, you can achieve much better results. In our example, let's add customer column to the base table. Let's add customer ID here and let's run this until the CTA expression. Now if we run the whole query, 
what we see is we got the customer id in the row groups shipper id in the column groups and we also got the average freight values for for the in the intersection rows when you don't specify the extra columns that are in the base table in the pivot operator then by default the pivot operator considers it as the grouping element this is the power of pivot operator thank you for listening